In order to test the boost converter, we need some way to use the power that it generates. So what better way to do that than to charge up a massive capacitor bank and then discharge it over various objects and see if they explode. But just to explain the setup here, from your left to right, what we have is the computer, which is programming the Arduino, and in the middle here, we have the boost converter. On the board here, we've got a MOSFET, which is a switch in the boost converter, which is being driven by the Arduino. This is the inductor, which is storing the electrical charge in the boost converter. And then on the board as well, there's the diode. This then feeds into two different capacitors. There's a 2,000 volt capacitor here, rigged up to a voltmeter here, so I can monitor the kind of, let's say, the input stage of our, of our output. And then here we have a contactor. This allows me to control whether or not power flows from the boost converter through to the big capacitor bank. And I can switch this on and off with a little switch here. And this is just powered by a separate 24 volt DC power supply. So when I click this switch, the power generated by the boost converter will then go into the big capacitor bank. So that is actually the main setup on this part. Over here, we have a very, very large capacitor bank. This is a 15,000 microfarad capacitor bank. So 15 millifarads, that's, that's very large. And these can be charged up to 450 volts. If these are charged up to 450 volts, we're talking about 1,518 joules. So around 1,500 joules of energy stored in that capacitor bank. We can then discharge it safely. The positive of the capacitor bank is connected to this discharge rod. And then the negative is here. So this rod is very well insulated. I can touch over here the electrode and discharge the capacitor bank in one shot. And I have another voltmeter measuring the charge on the capacitor bank so I can be sure that it's discharged. And of course, when this is stored, I'll make sure there's a bleed resistor across here so there's no leak of voltages building up or anything like that. All right, that's the setup. And let me briefly just run you through how we would actually set this running. First of all, I'll plug this in. I can check the, the voltage before I put it into that capacitor bank. Turn on the contactor and now watch the um, voltage climb on there or there. I can then unplug this, switch this off. This capacitor bank is now charged. So, in order to safely operate this, I've now got my glove. Always obey the one hand rule when you're dealing with high voltage. <coughs> this is, don't get me wrong, this. The, the energy in this capacitor bank is lethal. If I were to discharge this over myself at 400 volts, I'd almost certainly be dead, unless I got very lucky. So in order to set this thing up, I'm going to put, up, I've put the power supply on 10 volts, plug it in, I can see 966 volts. So this is generating quite high voltage here. As soon as I put a load on it, that voltage will sag. So as soon as I put this on, I now have this voltage which is slowly building up on the capacitor bank. I'm going to let that build up a bit, but only to a relatively small value, let's say 100 volts. So it's now at 100 volts. I want to discharge, disconnect that and disconnect the power. And now I can discharge the capacitor bank with this rod. This is an insulated rod. I'm using a rubber glove. There's no way I'm going to get electrocuted by this. And I can just touch this. And there you go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Well, let's charge this now up to very up to say 400 volts and discharge it and you will see that there's a hell of a lot of energy there. Okay, let's, let's charge this thing up then. Put the contactor on, I've got it in and we can see now the voltage rising up on here, 65. Let's charge it up to 100 volts for the first, first stage. 100 volts, let's discharge 100. Not particularly spectacular. Let's try 200 volts. Wait, it charges up. Right, there we go, 200 volts. 
As you can see, that was a lot more energy. How about we try um, 300 volts? So by the way, at 200 volts, that's 300 joules. So this is 600 joules. Right, how about we go for 400 volts? Okay, this is 400 volts, this is 1200 joules. I'm a little bit scared of this one. Wow, it's 9 o'clock in the morning here, but me and Steve are feeling a bit peckish. So we thought we'd try and cook some hot dogs by putting uh, couple of thousand joules of energy through them. Let's see if it works. Ready? Oh, we're not blowing, we can't blow it up, it didn't blow up. <laughs> Stop the camera. That was crap. Did it even cook it? Just sort of squeaked it a bit. Was rather fun, wasn't it? But you know what we need? More power! We've got enough power for now. We should also blow some other things up because that was quite fun. We didn't really blow anything up except that capacitor. Anyway, hope that was interesting to you. Thanks for watching.